It's the most wonderful time. Hey everybody, Andrew Zimmern here. Yes, it is gift giving season. I don't know why we don't give gifts all year round, but some really cool things come out during the Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa time of year where people typically like to exchange gifts with each other. Uh, we have some really cool things. This is the first of several installments of things that have have been gifted my way that I would like to turn you on to. Uh, the first one is something really cool. It's a collaboration between Adidas and the National Hockey League. And what these are, are it's a Your Colors, Your Retros remixed. So I live in the state of hockey, Minnesota, and our team is the Minnesota Wild. And so what they've done is they've kind of taken the Wild logo, reinterpreted it through the prism of some past logos and included some uh, North Stars colors on there, which is our old team. It's super, super cool. And they're doing this with teams all over the league. So all you have to do is check them out. This is just a super retro uh, jersey. It's a major league uh, collect collectible. I just absolutely love it. And this sort of meshy layered hockey jersey thing is great, whether you're into the sport or not at Adidas Hockey, at Minnesota Wild, hashtag reverse retro, hashtag gifted by Adidas. It makes me almost as cool as this young feller over here. Not bad, right? I, look, I am the definition of old time hockey. I'm talking slap shot hockey, right? Skating around the pond outside my house, right? With the long beard, icing it, checking the crap out of anybody who comes into my zone. That's how we do it here. Next thing, oh, uh, this is so super cool. There's this new company that I got turned on to called the Pineapple Collaborative. And you can find them at pineapplecollaborative.com. And it's a woman owned business that supports women owned businesses. And I bought a set of six olive oils from them from different countries all olive varietal specific. So this is Piquol and Koronaki. And uh, I should have popped a hole in this, but I'll get a little drizzle, beautiful and golden. Oh. Grassy, sweet, not too bitter, super yummy and flavorful. This is just delicious, delicious olive oil. And they're also super famous for their apple cider vinegar that I also ordered and is sitting on the table over there. But how much stuff can I have around here? Anyway, Pineapple Collaborative. Go check them out. Really cool gifts for the food lover. Speaking of which, um, one of my favorite companies in all of America are the good folks at Jacobs and Salt Company. They're buddies of mine. You know, you can get kosher sea salt, Italian fine sea salt that they're bringing in from Trapani, which is where all the great sea salt in Italy comes from. This is their flake. And what you have to remember, if you've seen uh, them on any of my shows or in some of the branded content that we've produced out there over the years, they literally go out in to the bay, bring in water, and evaporate it. And so you have sea salt that just reeks of the Pacific Northwest. And whoa, one of the cool things that they've done, it's always fun when the host of the show makes a fuck up. This is, thank God I didn't lose too much of it. This is black garlic infused sea salt. And they start with their Jacobson kosher salt from the pristine waters of Nedert's Bay on the Oregon coast. And then they use house fermented garlic in there. I do not like flavored salts. No one is able to sort of bring that off the right way, but magically, and that's the reason it was open as I was eating so much of it before, magically, the folks at Jacobson's have done the impossible, which has made garlic salt delicious. I would sprinkle that on anything. And it's the fact that they go to the trouble to ferment the garlic themselves. I mean, that's just, Absolutely fantastic. The other thing that I got from them, because I love honey, and you have to remember that honey is one of the ultimate expressions of terroir, right? Just like their salts come out of Nedert's Bay, which is all of like a hundred yards from where it's evaporated, having been at the Jacobson salt uh, plant. Um, but honey is too. Bees only range a couple miles at a time. So this is from the Willamette Valley in Oregon, raw blackberry honey. These are bees 
that have feasted on the blackberry pollen and then nested it and made the honey and it's not filtered. It's just a stunning, stunning product. Anyway, very cool. JacobsonSalt.com. Check them out. The other day, I turned you guys on to my favorite new sauce, which is Cham dipping sauce. This is essentially Nuoc Cham with all the yummy herbs and garlic, fish sauce and chilies and sugar. If you've ever eaten Vietnamese food, you are familiar with that dipping sauce. And I just, every time I taste it, I'm just stunned that it comes from a bottle. Well, the reason is, is that it's really good fresh ingredients, which is why it has to be refrigerated all the time. So in my, and by the way, adding enough, even though there's so many acidic ingredients in there, to meet FDA requirements to be shelf stable, people have to put all kinds of things into bottles. So it's a good thing to go to the extra trouble, uh, if you will. Uh, but that's the challenge for most sauce makers is how to make something that people will buy because space in the refrigerator section is at more of a premium in markets than space on the shelves, right? Refrigerator section tends to be on the perimeter of the market and there's more space on the shelves in between. But this sweet, sour, spicy salt of the same kind is the Laotian version of the Cham dipping sauce. And this is made uh, by Auntie B's Kitchen and that's antibeeskitchen.com. Sweet, sour, spicy, same deal. I have yet to taste it. Look at how loaded with everything that is. Pieces of garlic, pieces of chili. Mm. Fantastic, very different. A little sweeter less herby, but Auntie B on her label says, chop up some cilantro and throw it in there. The folks at Cham have the cilantro right in there. This has a really nice kick, beautifully balanced. I love these sauces. If you like cooking, Laotian food, Vietnamese food, you will have to have these sauces on hand. It saves you a lot of trouble for people who don't want to make their own. Speaking of sauces, I have two well, three hot sauces, really, that I wanted to share with you that are a little bit special. This is a new hot sauce called Drip, D-R-I-P. It is a Calabrian chili sauce made with honey and garlic. <laughs> Vicky, can you open this? Here, let me hold the camera for you. If you open it, it just means that I loosened it. God. Don't spill. Vicky's much stronger than I am. This is a bit like a thick. <laughs> well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna open we're gonna open it. We're, we're gonna open again. it. Hold on. No, I, no, 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 no. All right, we're gonna get Sean. Sean's the strongest human being in the office. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if Sean can open this. So we're gonna hit pause. But it's gonna pick right up again because you don't have to hit pause. But we're gonna hit pause and we're gonna get this sauce open. So hold on one second. Well, Sean opened that. That's embarrassing. Hey, we started it for him. But you can see here, look at the oil, and the garlic, and the Calabrian chilies. And it's seasoned with honey. Oh, 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 they've got some secret ingredients in there. There's a little bit of fermentation. There's a little bit of East meets West uh, going on in here. This is spectacular. All kidding aside, well worth the difficulty in opening this particular jar, which I'm sure by the time you get your hands on yours is all gonna be solved. This is a limited run officialdripsauce.com. This is so unique and so one of a kind and so fantastic. You have to get your hands on this stuff. It's got all of the deliciousness of a fermented Italian chili sauce with that umami kick of, there's like 
fermented toasted dried shrimp or something in there. It's, this is like an Italian hot sauce and XO sauce kind of met and had a baby. It would be drip. That is crazy good. I'm taking this home, putting it on noodles with vegetables tonight. That's, that's my dinner. Okay. Two of my favorite human beings in the whole world, Mike Bagal and Kat O'Dell, have collaborated to make a uh, CBD-infused hot sauce called Hot Sloth. Um, now, you may remember an Instagram post I did a couple months ago of version one that was orange. Version two is red. I got a note saying that it was uh, because they've added shizo and some other goodies in it, and that this one is even better than the first one, which I can't imagine being the case because the first one was so dynamite. Now the first one was spicy, so let's see what this one does. Wow. I want to drink this. It's tangy and citrusy and has a great chili heat finish. And you can taste the shizo and the other herbs in there and tons of botanicals. Mike's company, Superfood Concepts, is all devoted uh, to health and wellness and natural food supplying us with more of what we need. Cat, award-winning food writer, editor, world traveler, and food expert. One of the people I rely on for great tips. So, you know, she's up there. And Mike was the chef de cuisine, executive chef at Alinea. He knows his stuff. The creator of the uh, edible green apple balloon, uh, amongst other things that you may know him for. But he has since gone on and started his own company and doing consulting all over the world. And this is... Kat and Mike's latest collab. You can follow them on Instagram, at Hot Sloth Sauce, and you can order this. It is, <laughs> I wish this came in a half gallon bottle. I'm gonna have to talk to Mike. I need a half gallon bottle of that. Okay, I don't even know how to say it. Truff. Hot sauces, black truffle infused, white truffle infused, and extra hot. Now, this is a very nice set for the person that wants that kind of thing. Uh, and I have to be honest, I am doing this in order to give these people a fair shake. I thought the packaging was so beautiful and that the idea was so sort of fun. I thought to give it a try because one of the big jokes in the food world is, you know, the whole truffle oil thing is just not real. Uh, and what a waste. Whereas truffle butters and truffle paste and things like that, things made from real truffles, I really enjoy. Um, and this actually has white truffle powder in it. So they've actually dehydrated uh, scraps and seconds. It's all right, because you're not, otherwise it would be a gazillion dollars a bottle. But they have found a way to put white truffle, actual white truffle into their sauce. Oh yeah. Wow, that is not as hot as I expected, given the color. Anything orange, yellow, red, bright green, right? Red chili peppers, white truffles, and white truffle oil. But right here on the ingredients list is white, separate ingredient from the oil is white truffle powder concentrate. And you get that in here. This actually has really good truffle aroma and flavor. And I can imagine dipping potatoes into this like crazy. A few tablespoons on a roast beef sandwich. Uh, this would be really, really, really good. Bravo. Someone has managed to actually put the essence of white truffle into another food and get me to like it. We really appreciate that. And you can find these good people at uh, truffhotsauce.com. Bottles. <laughs> gift sets for the food freak or truffle freak in your household. That's pretty good. This is like really, really, really spicy ketchup with truffle in it. That's what, that's what that is. Okay, last thing, fun t-shirt or long sleeve shirt. North Par Apparel made here in the upper Midwest. 
Bang & Shane since 2020. They're a new company. Everybody here knows my love of all things disc golf. They even sent me towels, which you need when it rains to dry your discs off. Fantastic t-shirts and sweatshirts, hats, towels. They're getting into the accessories business around the great sport of uh, disc golf. And let me tell you, yes, in Minnesota, we even play in the snow up here. You can't play when you had a fresh foot because then your discs get lost. But once the stuff gets packed down, you know, we, we play disc golf uh, 12 months a year here in Minnesota. Um, so here's the good news. Vicky told me that in our, on our YouTube channel, there's an information box, right? And we are gonna put links and hashtags and everything to all of our products here so you don't have to go scrambling for a pen and hitting rewind. I probably should have said that at the beginning. Don't, don't blame me, I'm just the messenger. But you can find more information on all this stuff in the info box. So enjoy, gather gifts from these people, fully vetted for you. Thank you.